Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we are doing another custom. This is Applejack from the new series 2 minis and uh, I'm going to be turning her into Stormy Weather from the Miraculous Ladybug. And the reason why I picked her is because her dress and her boots actually match Stormy Weather's a little bit better than the series 1 Applejack. Alright, so I can't wait to see what she looks like. Let's get started! To start, I'm taking a knife and cutting off Applejack's ponytail. Next, we're going to paint her hair two tones. So her front bangs are going to be light purple. And the rest of her hair is going to be a grayish blue. So once her hair is dry, I'm going to paint her face. I'm going to use one coat of flesh tone and paint her face all over including her eyes. Now that the first coat is on, I can use a pencil to draw in her mask. And the reason I'm doing this is because her mask has a lot of details. And since I have one coat of paint on, I can actually see my pencil marks. So this mask is actually very complicated. I hope my right side matches the left side. And after that, draw in the eyebrows. Now I'm going to finish painting the rest of her face and give it a few more coats. I'm going to draw in the eyes. Alright, we're ready to paint. So I'm going to paint in the mask first. Then we're going to paint in the white of the eye. Then the purple. And finally the black part. I'm going to give her a dark purple lipstick. For her body, we're going to paint her arms a vanilla color. And we're going to paint her top and also her tights a dark purple. We're also going to paint her boots a vanilla color. And then we're going to paint her skirt a dark grayish blue. Once that's done, we're going to add the little lightning bolt details. So we're going to add them onto her legs and also her shirt. With some air dry clay, I'm going to make her pigtails. So Stormy Weather has some very interesting pigtails. They're kind of cone shaped, so I'm just going to roll it till it's about the right shape. Now we need to make sure the second one matches. Once the clay is dry, I can paint it. So I'm going to start with the lighter purple. I'm going to paint it all the way around. And this looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? After the purple is done, I'm going to do the second color. We're also going to make Stormy Weather's umbrella with the air dry clay. So we're going to shape it, make some space on top for the ball to sit on. Once the umbrella portion is done, I'm going to use the lollipop stick and stick it in there. Once the clay is dry, we're now ready to paint. I'm going to use a silverish purple on top.
and we're gonna blend it down towards the black. All right, you guys, so here is my stormy weather. What do you think? <laughs> I think my favorite part is the hair. This hair is just so, so cool. And I just love the colors. This color of grayish blue and also kind of grayish uh, purple looks super, super cool together. So here's a close-up of her face. So I think her mask turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? I was a little bit afraid that it might not look good on Applejack's face, but I think it looks alright. She does look a little bit mean, but she is a villain, so I think that's alright too. And I really love her dress. I really love these little lightning details on her tights and also on her dress. They look super cool. So let me know below in the comment section what you think of my custom. And also let me know which Miraculous Ladybug you'd like me to do next. And if you guys like my custom videos, make sure to subscribe so you'll know when the next one is posted. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a new custom doll. So we have Flash Sentry here from the My Little Pony Creature Girls Mini. And we're going to transform him into the Mime from Miraculous Ladybug. So the Mime is a performer from one of the Miraculous Ladybug's episodes. And the Mime is a really powerful villain because he can essentially act out any weapon he wants and make it cause real damage when he's fighting. So I can't wait to make the Mime. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is remove his hair. So here I've already removed his hair and using some air dry clay we're going to start to build his hair. So the mime has a pretty tall forehead so what I'm going to do is try to build up his hair a little bit higher than usual and I'm going to flatten it out so it looks a little bit more rectangular. So once the air dry clay is dry we're going to paint his face a lavender color. Then using white, we're going to reshape his eyes. And we're going to trace around his eyes using dark blue. We're going to make this pretty thick. Now I'm going to draw some of the details on his face, including the teardrops. And then we're going to draw very small dots for his eyes and dot it with white. Using a lavender that's a little bit darker than his skin tone, we're going to draw his eyebrows. And give him an angry smile. Now for the mime's hair, we're going to paint it a light yellow color. For his body, we're going to paint his legs white. And we're going to paint his arms and neck the same lavender shade as his face. We're also going to paint his shirt white. Using dark blue, we're going to paint in his jacket. Now to add the details, we're going to add the stripes on his shirt, add some pockets, and now we're going to add the black details on his shoes. Using a round flat piece of clay and a round ball of clay, I'm going to make his hat.
and then paint his hat a dark blue. Alright everyone, so the mime is complete. Let's take a look at him. He looks pretty cool. I really love his lavender skin color. It makes him have that extra look of um, evil in him. <laughs> But I don't think he was that evil in the show actually. Uh, I thought he was actually a very cool villain. So I added some height to his head. Um, the only thing is that you can kind of see it here uh, where the clay meets the uh, the head. And um, I really like his eyes. So he has these kind of rectangular eyes and they look kind of creepy. And here he is with his hat on. So let's see, let's put his little hat on. So it looks pretty cool. Alright everyone, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of the mine. And if you guys like my Miraculous Ladybug dolls, make sure to check out the other ones too. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have Flash Sentry from My Little Pony Creature Girls Mini. And we're going to turn him into a character from Miraculous Ladybug. So we're going to turn him into Guitar Villain from Miraculous Ladybug. And this is going to be so much fun because Guitar Villain has really cool hair and outfit. Alright, let's get started! So the first thing we're going to do is remove Flash Sentry's hair. We're going to remove everything because we're going to redo all of Guitar Villain's hair. So taking the hair is a little bit difficult. I'm using an X-Acto knife and also a screwdriver. So if you're doing this at home, make sure to have your parents to help you out. Okay, once the hair is off, I'm going to put some clay in my clay extruder and extrude a thick strand of clay. And now we're going to cut it up into little pieces about 3 inches long and stick it on top of Flash Sentry's head. So I've already covered his head with clay so this will make it easier to stick the strands on. Taking some acetone, I'm going to take off his blue eyebrows and also take off a bit of his eyes because his mask is not going to cover it. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not planning to change Guitar Villain's face color. Using black, I'm going to draw his mask. And I'm also going to draw a guitar villain's beard. And this is cool because I've never done it before. Next, with some white, I'm going to shape his eyes. Coming back in with the black, I'm going to fill in his mask. and then color his eyes blue and add the black pupils and dot it white next I'm going to paint his hair so we're going to start with white paint first so the top of his head is going to be white and then with a clean brush I'm going to come back in with hot pink and I'm going to paint the bottom of his hair so I'm going to blend it upwards so that the pink mixes with the white. Now for the body, I'm going to take a piece of triangular clay and press it into Guitar Villain's body. And we're going to shape it into his outfit. Next I'm going to paint his legs white and this will help the yellow show through better. I'm also going to paint the yellow spots first and this is because if I paint with black first, the yellow won't be as bright. Now we're going to paint the yellow flame. After that, fill in the legs with black. We're also going to do the same thing with the boots. We're going to paint around the magenta dots. We're going to paint his arms magenta.
and paint his top black. Now we're going to give him some black gloves. For Guitar Villain's pointy studs, I'm going to be using this silicone gel. So we're going to use it on his boots. And also on his belt. Alright, so Guitar Villain is done. And take a look at him. I think he looks pretty cool. So I really like the way his hair turned out. I really like how the uh, light pink goes all the way down to hot pink. And it goes all the way around and the strands are looking really really cool and he has his uh, guitar so his guitar um, can be removed so we can take it off there we go and his outfit is pretty cool too so he has kind of a triangular body he had the flames going up his legs and the silicone here on his feet his hands and also his belt gives it a very cool 3D effect. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my guitar villain. And if you guys like this video, make sure to check out my other custom videos too. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!